On behalf of the STEM Advisory Council, thank you for seeking out STEM opportunities that will inspire learners and equip them for hopefully pursuing STEM jobs of the future in Iowa. This application does not favor returning applicants in any way. So if you have never completed an application before, we strongly encourage you to apply. To ensure you submit the strongest possible application for a program from the STEM Scale Up program menu, we want to quickly run through how to navigate the online application management system and some best practices for completing the educator application. So you might be thinking, who can apply? Any pre-K through 12 educator with a public school, private school, or out of school program such as homeschool, library, and Head Start in the state of Iowa. If a school district is completing the application on behalf of multiple buildings in their district, a separate application will be needed to submit for each building. Applicants may apply for more than one program and will have the ability to rank their preferences. The same process applies for organizations applying for out of school programs. As an applicant, the first step in the application process is to create a user account. You will be required to enter an email address and create a password. This will allow you to access and manage your application throughout the application process. After the user account has been created, you will be able to log in to the online application management system. To submit a new application, you will need to click on the button to create a new application. Select Scale Up, followed by the program you are applying for. In the application, enter your first and your last name and city. When you click in the box under Organization School Building, a dropdown will appear listing all organizations we are aware of in the city you have chosen. Please click on the appropriate organization. If you select an organization that is in the system, upon selection, certain questions below will be self-populated. If your organization is not listed, you may type in the name of your organization and complete the remaining questions. For the purpose of this application, the administrator is defined by the following. Someone within your organization having the authority to sign contracts or agreements someone within your organization that can validate a background check has occurred with each educator listed in the application. If you are submitting an application on behalf of a school, the administrator may be the principal, school board chair, or superintendent. If you are submitting an application on behalf of an out of school program, the administrator may be an executive director or board chair. The next question identifies the educators. You must list all educators that will participate in the program and the training associated with the program being applied for. If you, as the applicant, are one of the participating educators, you will need to list your name as Educator 1. Click Add Educator to enter the next educator. All educators participating in the Scale Up program need to be added to the application. In certain circumstances, an educator may be unknown at the time you submit the application due to a current vacancy, future retirement, or a new position. In these scenarios, you may identify an extra educator by clicking on the placeholder button. If your organization receives an award, the placeholder educator will need to be identified prior to June 1st. As soon as the educator is identified, you will need to contact your regional manager with their first name, last name, and email address. Whenever possible, always enter a name. The next questions are looking for an estimate of the demographic information of the learners that will actually participate in the program you are applying for, not the overall demographics of your school district or other learning environments. For formal educators, we recommend checking the grade level below yours to estimate the demographics of the student who will participate in the program you are applying for. For out-of-school or informal educators, 
we recommend basing the numbers for these questions on past attendance data you've gathered from similar programs or activities you've hosted in your learning environment. For the first essay question, after reading the what is required section of the programs one pager, describe how you envision fulfilling the expectations of this program in the context of your learning environment, how your plan fulfills the program expectations and how this program fits your school or organization's long-term plans for STEM. For this question, we are not only looking for confirmation that you will meet the what is required section of the program's one pager, but also more about how this program meets your classroom or organization's needs. For formal educators, we want to see how this fits in your school-wide or district-wide plans for STEM. How will it help you make STEM interdisciplinary in your classrooms? How will it help your school with NGSS rollout or meet other school standards? For informal educators, how does it integrate with your organization's goals? We want to hear that yes, you're going to do what is required and most importantly, here is how you plan to do so. The difference between a good and a great response is simply showing us clear, specific evidence of how you plan on collaborating with other educators, businesses, and others to meet the what is required section for that program. For the second essay question, given that the STEM scale-up program of the Iowa Governor's STEM Advisory Council is intended to seed or start programs, not sustain, what are your school or organization's plans to sustain this program in future years in terms of costs for consumables, licensing, training, leadership advocacy, and so on? In this section, we want you to pay special note to the financial investment required for this program in the one pager. It will be up to you and or partners to sustain the program through alternative sources for year two. Making a case for how you plan to do that is something we look for in awarding applicants since STEM Council funding will only support it in the initial year. Maybe you work with a local service organization or grocery store who will donate the consumables for the program. Or maybe you partner with a nearby business that's willing to support the annual costs associated with those competition style programs. Include such specifics, if at all possible. Tell us your specific plan on how you will partner with those groups and or provide an example of how you have created successful partnerships in the past. The difference between a good and a great response is the level of evidence of involvement from those partners in sustaining, including your organization's leadership. Are you consulting them on a regular basis and having them work alongside students, or are they just donating money to keep the program going? For the third essay question, the STEM Council established the priority to reach children of high need and or underrepresentation, specifically ethnic, racial minority, gender distribution, free or reduced lunch, special needs, and low STEM test scores. Please describe the barriers in your community which restrict participation of these underrepresented groups in STEM programming. How will you address those barriers to involve these subpopulations? You referenced the demographics of your classroom earlier in the application. So in this question, the reviewers are looking more for how you will consider the barriers for underrepresented youth in STEM and how this program and your plan to use it will remedy those barriers. How do you plan on recruiting students to your location to experience this program that might not otherwise because of financial reasons or lack of interest? If your anticipated program participants are not underrepresented youth, do you intend using this program beyond the classroom to impact that group and how? Remember, we're looking for the plan specific to the user of this program, not your entire school district or organization. The difference between a good and a great response is evidence that you considered the barriers to participation that impact the specific underrepresented populations of youth in the community served. 
and what actions you currently have or will have in place to reduce those barriers to participation in STEM opportunities. Now you are ready to submit your application. At the bottom of the application, you will have the following options. The save and exit button allows you to come back later if you are not able to complete the application. The submit button will allow for a final review of the application and submission. At this time, you will want to go through the application to make sure everything is accurate. If everything is accurate, you may select the submit button at the bottom of the screen. That is the final step of submitting your application. An email will be sent to the applicant confirming the application has been submitted. An email will also be sent to educators identified in the application to make them aware that the application was submitted and to receive their approval for participation. And finally, an email will be sent to the administrator identified in the application for their approval. At this point, you will want to make sure that all individuals identified in your application are aware that they will be sent an email from info at iowastem.gov requiring their approval. Your application will not be considered until your administrator approves the application. Once the administrator or any educator is approved, an email is sent to the applicant. The applicant also has the ability to log into the system to review the status of their online application. Your application can be viewed by clicking on the view button located on the right side of the screen. If an administrator or instructor has not approved the application, the applicant may send an email reminder by clicking on the send reminder button. To submit another application under the same scale up program, you may click on the copy button to copy the application. You will want to go through the application and make the necessary changes to apply for another building within your district or organization. Once you have submitted your application, one of the following terms will be assigned to your application. Incomplete means the application has not been finalized or submitted yet. In process means the application has been submitted, but the administrator has not approved or rejected the application. Completed means everything has been completed and approved by the administrator at your organization. Rejected means the application has been submitted but rejected by the administrator. You may go back in to adjust or edit your application and resubmit. Resubmitting your application will trigger a new set of approvals to the individuals listed in your application. If you have any other related questions, you can reach out to your respective regional STEM manager who can guide you along through the application. We also have a frequently asked questions page at the link you see here. And most importantly, we appreciate all that you do to bring high quality STEM learning opportunities to your learners. With your help, we can make a difference in young lives across Iowa and inspire the next generation of STEM literate workers for our state and our world.